Spiritual Poems of Encouragement for the Soul by Michelle Staddard, also author of Broken But Not Bound, another illustrated masterpiece for those of you who enjoy spiritual poetry. Some of the works by my son, Omani Staddard, links in the description. Holla at me. Peace. What's going on, folks out there? My name is Ademir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And this is another Monday Rundown. Today is Monday, September the 27th, 2021. And let's get right into it. I have a couple of stories here that I want to share with you. The first being a set of racist flyers were put out there for the masses. And this took place out there in Longmount, Colorado. Longmount Police Department confirmed Saturday afternoon they had spoken with the person officers believed is responsible for placing nearly a dozen flyers with racist language on the entrances to several downtown businesses. The flyer contains the N-word, a line that reads, people of color are not worthy, and a number to all state insurance. What's up with that? Long story short, they've decided not to press any charges. Literally, people, literally, they know who did it. They're not going to press charges. What if that had been a black person writing a letter towards Asians? Meanwhile, on the other end of the country, out there in Massachusetts, and I just read the middle paragraph of this diatribe that was put out there anonymously under the name Derek Vin. We look down upon you. We instantly know in all manners from your language, which most of you still speak in some broken form of Ebonics or to ghetto speak to where you're from third world sewers in America bought and paid for by U.S. taxpayer to how you live like hood rats to how you appear fro big hair, black, excuse me, big lips, black skin. You are different. Regarding your intelligence, you are clearly stupid. And while not all students know the average IQ of a black person is 75, it is abundantly clear that you possess a lacking intelligence along with an elementary grasp of the subjects that most of us learned in high school. This, ladies and gentlemen, was sent out to UMass students. And if you don't think that's painful enough to read about, well, shout out to D. Tubman. We have a story and you may be able to find a link in the description. This is taking place out there in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And if there was ever a time for us to burn something, I would say now is the time because you have a neighbor, a black neighbor, right? Who has to deal with, excuse me, you have a black family has to deal with their neighbor, racist ass neighbor who literally set up their home security against this black family. And it's to the point where it's, automated it but from what it reads it sounds like it's automated it has some sort of facial or feature recognition to where if the mother comes out it'll play a certain set of sounds if the father comes out it'll play a certain set of sounds the son or daughter comes out it plays a certain set of sounds or songs right the songs are profanity laced with with the n-word all dropping all through it and it's gotten to the point where it's now playing monkey noises Yes, the family comes out and you hear monkey noises. How racist can you be? Now, the, the media did take up trying to knock on this person's door. Of course, he's unavailable for questions or anything like that. But I'll say it again. If there was ever a time to burn something, now would be the time. Now, I point that out because I want to show that these folks are becoming more brazen in their hatred. It's to the point now where you have grown men like this Larry Balder who have taken up beating on an 11 year old child. I mean, it's getting ridiculous out here, folks. You're really going to have to start watching yourselves. We're really going to have to start demanding justice. And some of us may have to go about getting it our own way. This old ass man beat up 11. I keep trying to say 14 years old for good reason. You're about to hear it. But this 11 year old black girl, he beat her and choked her. And you know what? Had it not been for witnesses, he probably would have been charged with a damn thing. But there he is. That's his mugshot. And I hope he gets everything that is coming to him. That's my honest to God opinion. I hope I can read about him in the paper. And you know, there's a particular part of that paper where I would love to see his name appear. And I'll just leave it at that. 
Moving on to slightly different news. I covered this in a previous video. And would you believe that I have folks in my mentions, in my in my comments talking about I'm a hater. And this is about polite. Uh, I would say brother polite, but there's nothing brotherly about this dude. He literally has semen stains on the garments of a 14-year-old black girl. And what's being reported is that he took this 14-year-old black girl for a night out on the town. Guys, full stop right there. You can sit here and say that this is part of some grand conspiracy and blah, 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 whatever you want to say. You know, every time I've heard about Brother Polite being I said brother, I didn't mean to do that. But every time I hear about Polite being confronted with these allegations, you know, it's all, you know, we can't hash it out on YouTube and blah, blah, blah. Bro, if you didn't do it, just say you didn't do it and be adamant about it. These are serious charges for you to be sitting here playing this game like we don't deserve an explanation. I would fully like to know why it is that you felt it was cool to take a 14 year old child out for a night on the town, get her drunk and expose yourself in an attempt to make her perform oral sex on you. It is that serious. If there was anybody else that I would see, love to see have the full book of the law and throw on that, it's this dude right here, okay? This ain't nothing to just flick off or throw away and say, oh, you know, it ain't what it, nah, 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 nah. I'm not trying to hear, oh, we need to hash it out in the court of law. Yes, we most certainly do. But dude, if you are innocent, as serious as these charges are, you need to come out and tell us that you're innocent. Don't sit here and beat around the bush when police are claiming that they got DNA evidence on you. You're going to claim that they made that up. You're going to claim that the daughter just somehow manifested this. Maybe the daughter got with the girlfriend and somehow got hold of your sperm, your semen. Nah, dude, I don't believe you for one moment. You've always been a con artist. I've pointed it out in past videos. I pointed it out in the last video. I don't trust this dude. It's wrong what he did. And I hope you get your full comeuppance. In lighter news, you have out of the great state of Kentucky, a uh, council member out there in Louisville, Ja'Cory Arthur, sponsored a resolution about reparations. It's another study. Now, maybe a study is all that you could get. But please do not think for one moment that we are satisfied with a study. We don't need a study. We know what the hell happened. We know what the hell's happening. And we know what needs to take place. Folks like to beat around the bush. Even in this article, it made sure to mention that, yeah, we ain't talking about mon monetary reparations. But you know what? Reparations should be a comprehensive plan. Black people in general should be able to benefit from those reparations. The descendants of American slaves should feel the full force of reparations. And it should include monetary payouts because they are owed period in other news out of washington dc you have kiran hilton who was killed as he was being chased by police officers now you can look this up for yourselves and you may come across a video that show police officers chasing after this dude with their lights on then they cut their lights off continue to chase this dude and it must have put him into a fight or flight frenzy at that point because now you got police officers that have cut off the lights which means that they're probably getting ready to do some dirt he attempted to run and got hit by a van was subsequently killed as a result these officers have been charged and what's being written here by Linus Crown shout out to Linus Crown is that this is actually historic they have never charged a police officer in connection with someone's death in Washington, D.C. So this would be a first. And you know what? I welcome it. We need to take away their qualified immunity while we're at it. In other news, and shout out to Nicole's View, excellent channel. Uh, you have this brother uh, by goals, that goes by the name of Omida Hellcat, who believed he had a loophole that allowed him to stream content that he did not own the rights to online for profit and he did just that to the tune of tens of millions of dollars if you look into this article they they talk about how he bought large homes and lamborghinis and 
you know what? If the dude thought he had a loophole and he sought to exercise and take advantage of it, so what? I remember when Napster was was heavy on the scene and they had this one Asian kid that I want to say they hooked him up, find him with a $200,000 or something kind of bill. I mean, it's kind of the equivalent of what he would pay if he were going to college at a high-end school for one of those technical, more technical uh, degrees. 500 years though, 500 years for a non-violent offense is a slap in the wrist. And, you know, I, I hope to hear more about this. I, I hope that this brother doesn't end up having to serve 500 years. But that's crazy. As if he could, really. Moving on out there in Fairfield, Ohio, we have a uh, caught on cam where a daycare employee shoved a little black girl and toted her around like a rag doll. And many of you have seen that video and I'm not too happy with it. I could go on a lecture and talk to parents about how you need to be careful where you set your child, but that should really go without saying. We pay many of these institutions to watch our children. Just watch the children. We're not asking you to beat on them. We ain't asking you to shove them. We ain't asking you to mistreat them. We ain't asking you to call them out their name, yet they continue to do this. And you know what? I'm glad he was charged. And I hope we never have to see this type of behavior out of any of them towards anyone's child, much less a black child ever again. Now, before I end, hit the end of this wrap up, I did want to share with you guys that the Heritage Act, which some of you might be familiar with and those of you who are not, the Heritage Act was put in place as a compromise to say, hey, look, you want us to take the Confederate flag off of your flagpole? Uh, cool, but you got to let all the monuments stay. You got to let all the names stay. You can't change or remove anything unless you get a two thirds majority vote. Well, the two thirds part was ruled on constitutional, so that was thrown out. However, much of the same still remains. And bottom line, if you want to remove those Confederate monuments out of your townships and municipalities, you're probably going to have to do it yourself. Another thing that came out of this article was that they don't necessarily have a set standard for punishment. So that's something to be considered. I need to learn how to rope, excuse me, work a lasso. Uh, and, you know, maybe I probably shouldn't even mention that on YouTube. But, yeah, it is what it is. Speaking of lassos and such, horses will no longer be used by Border Patrol officers in Del Rio, Texas. Following the release of photographs that showed agents charging at Haitian migrants seeking to cross the U.S. border. Oh, and by the way, shout out to the Black Authority. That whole area where once laid 14,000 people is bone dry. Most of the immigrants have been reported have been allowed into the United States of America on the condition that they show up for their court date. Ha, huh. wink, wink. Uh, few of them were sent back, but the vast majority have been allowed to come into this country. I will say this, I am so happy that the descendants of American slaves showed out for this entire episode while this was going on. Now, mind you, they just kind of surprised us one day we just kind of woke up and it's like, oh yeah, there's near 10, 15,000 Haitian immigrants at the border. Black folks didn't bat an eye. Joe Biden said, oh, we gonna get them out of there. He started petitioning other airlines to use their aircraft carriers to take these folks back on home. And in the meantime, black Americans is like, yeah, hold your own nuts. And I can't say that I fault them. Well, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Well, because the foundational black Americans, the descendants of American slaves are constantly being undermined, not only by immigrant coons, but some of their own. Now, this person here you see before you, I'm not even sure if she's an immigrant or not, but coonery is definitely part of what she's about. 
And what she's seeking to do is to change the black, uh, excuse me, the black national anthem, which is also known as Lift Every Voice and Sing. She wants to change that with a song called Stand Up by Cynthia Erivo. And I posted it online and I mean what I say. This looks like a veiled attempt at trying to round off blackness to include everyone and kind of crowbar black immigrants into the black struggle. And let's make no mistake about it. Black immigrants suffer from racism and white supremacy, but you need not come in and change anything. Now, I'm no particular fan of Lift Every Voice and Sing. I think it's a beautiful song. I hate the way the NAACP and politicians use it. Even the NFL has gone into trying to use this as some sort of pacifier, as though people hear that song and they're just supposed to calm down. No, black people are angry and stuff like this just helps to make us angrier. So I, I decided to do was look into this a little bit further and found out that this person has an email. So I shared my thoughts in an email. I also found out that this person has a number. So I called the number. It's probably deactivated by now, to be honest. Probably is. But if it's not, people should let her know. You're not going to come in here and crowbar a Cynthia Arriva song when Cynthia Arrivo doesn't even know how to show reference to the descendants of American slaves. Folks out here just trying to eat off the hot plate that has been laid there by the descendants of American slaves and then try to pretend that they're not black at all. And folks are tired of that nonsense. Which leads me to my wrap up thoughts here. And again, I have to give shout outs to the Black Channel because what you see here before you is just a small sample of the amount of non-foundational black Americans. These are black people that look black, right? They, they, they have a darker shade of skin than even myself, right? But they come from backgrounds outside of this country. And it really wouldn't be a bad thing, except that at every turn, these same folks find ways to undermine the black struggle. These are individuals that when pressed with simple questions like, do the descendants of American slaves deserve reparations? Every last one of these individuals that you see on here, will tell you no. And if they say, oh yeah, we do believe in reparations, ask them what they think about cash monetary payouts. They're gonna tell you no. These are folks that are there, they're put in place so that other folks can point to us and say, see, look at that black person over there. They ain't out there asking for a handout. See, look at that black person over there. They're not homophobic, see, Look at that black person over there. They want to see immigration. And at every point, black Americans are undermined. And especially so, the descendants of American slaves. So listen, guys, let me know what you feel about this Monday rundown. I've gone well over my limit. These videos seem to be getting longer and longer. I promise you I'll make my next one shorter, but there was so much to cover. I appreciate you tuning in. My name is Audemir. Holla at me. Peace.